He's Anetta Everhart's 21-year-old son, one of the 13 people shot at the tops in Buffalo on May 14th. An attack investigators say was racially motivated hate crime. Ten people died, but Everhart's son, who was shot in the neck, was one of only three who survived. This morning, she channeled her son's trauma into action, facing lawmakers and demanding they do something. News Channel 9's Callahan Marshall listened to the emotional testimony today. Callahan, and she wants stricter gun laws. Yeah, Jeff and Christy, Everhart says no one should ever have to go through what her son has been forced to endure. And she also questions why anyone should have access to an assault rifle. At least 17 people dead in mass shootings over the weekend. Before that, the shooting in Uvalde, Texas, killing 21 people, 19 of them children. The one closest to home just 10 days prior in Buffalo at a Topps grocery store. The shooting started at 2.30 in the afternoon and was concluded in two minutes and three seconds. One shooter, a semi-automatic weapon, 13 people shot, 10 dead, one shooter. If you look for a common denom denominator in all of these, it's typically someone that should never have had a gun with a high capacity weapon to kill as many as people, as many people as quickly as possible. Zanetta Everhart's son was working at the top supermarket that day. As I clean his wounds, I can feel pieces of that bullet in his back. Shrapnel will be left inside of his body for the rest of his life. Now I want you to picture that exact scenario for one of your children. As her son suffers, she's his voice, begging for more to be done. To the lawmakers who feel that we do not need stricter gun laws, let me paint a picture for you. My son, Zaire, has a hole in the right side of his neck, two on his back, and another on his left leg. <sighs> Caused by an exploding bullet from an AR-15. President Biden is urging Congress to ban assault weapons or to raise the age to be able to buy them from 18 to 21. The gun control package is expected to fail in the Senate. Callahan, thank you. And coming up on News Channel 9 at 6, the Buffalo Police Commissioner talks about what he thinks should be done when it comes to protecting schools.